first day I came in, I could see better. I had a moistness in my eyes. In fact, I went almost six days without having to put any drops in whatsoever. And so I knew it was starting to, to make a big impact and difference in my life. I've had punctal plugs put in. I've tried restasis. Um, and I wasn't able to find anything that definitely worked until I came and had this treatment done. Um, well, this is my eighth treat, uh, treatment. Uh, we come from Springfield, Missouri, all the way to Memphis. So it's a five hour drive each way. And um, hopefully, you know, with a two or three more treatments, perhaps maybe I'll lick this problem. My name is Dr. Rolando Toyos of Toyos Clinic, and I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist who has devoted the last 10 years to developing treatments for dry eye. We made a discovery eight years ago that intense pulse light held the key to relieving many patients of their debilitating signs and symptoms. With research grants, investigation, patients, and the development of advanced technology by Dermamed International, we perfected the optimum dry eye treatment. We have had patients from all over the world come to our clinic to receive the treatment and finally get relief. I answer dozens of emails every day about dry eye and how we treat this disease. As we certify doctors around the globe, fewer patients will have to travel to Memphis, Tennessee to heal. People don't realize how bad dry eye is. You know, you tell them you have dry eye and it's like, oh, okay, that's nothing. It's like, no, it's really right. something. It's very painful and uh, there really is no relief anywhere else that I've found. It's like... Millions of Americans suffer from dry eye syndrome. These patients come into our office with complaints of red, irritated, inflamed eyes. The most common form of dry eye is meibomian gland dysfunction, which leads to a poor lipid layer causing evaporative dry eye. A poor lipid layer leads to inflammation, irritation, infection, and poor gland function causing a downward cycle of worsening disease. We have learned that poor gland function can be due to inflammatory cytokines that cause a thickening of secretions of the gland from clear oil to a more toothpaste-like mybum. We have many treatments to decrease the inflammation and improve gland function, like anti-inflammatory drops, oral antibiotics, warm compresses, lid scrubs, and other less traditional treatments. None of these treatments have been 100% effective in improving the condition. We have found a treatment that has evolved into a very effective solution that helps a high percentage of patients with meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye. In 2002, intense pulse light IPL became an acceptable way to treat rosacea patients. IPL uses a xenon flash lamp to produce light that incorporates broad wavelengths of light from 400 nanometers to 1,200 nanometers. A filter is placed to only allow a specific range of light. At the same time, the light is pulsed in microseconds on and off. At a wavelength of 500 to 600 nanometers, the light is absorbed by oxyhemoglobin in telangiectasias, closing these blood vessels. So the use of IPL in rosacea patients closes down the telangiectasias of the face, making patients' appearance better, but more importantly, improving the skin since the inflammatory mediators that these vessels secrete are closed. We began offering IPL to our rosacea patients. They would undergo the procedure with consistent improvements in their skin, but also a few of these patients stated that their dry eye symptoms improved. We looked at their meibomian glands and documented some improvement in their lid appearance and gland secretions. We began extensive research to see if IPL could be an effective treatment. We received an ASCRIS grant to study the relationship. We looked at 100 patients with meibomian gland dysfunction and poor tear breakup time. We accepted rosacea patients and non-rosacea patients and showed that patients' tear breakup time, their T-butt, improved and their symptoms improved. After that study, we began to refine the technique and work with companies to refine the technology for ophthalmology. After several years of trial and error, we finally perfected the technique and the technology to provide other ophthalmologists an out-of-the-box technique to use IPL for evaporative dry eye syndrome. So our current treatment decreases telangiectasias that are sometimes seen around the meibomian glands, 
improves lipid production of the meibum, clears glands of abnormal secretions, and improves lid appearance. How do we achieve these results? We start with a specific IPL technology that has light intensities and pulses programmed to our specifications for each Fitzpatrick skin type. A patient with Fitzpatrick skin type 1 will have a stronger intensity and fewer pulses than a patient with type 4. The procedure cannot be done on patients who are a dark type 4 or a type 5 or a type 6. After picking the right program for each patient, we treat from the tragus of one ear to the other, including the nose, lids right under the eyelash margin, and the temple. We find that treating this broad area rather than just the lids increases the effect and makes the effect last longer. We attribute this to the fact that the talonjectasias of the lid are part of a plexus of vessels that are throughout the face. So when you close down the whole plexus, it takes longer for all these vessels to come back. Eventually, you stop the treatment completely, the vessels come back, and so does the meibomian gland dysfunction. So after a course of treatments, patients do come back for maintenance treatments. We also found right after the treatment, the patient's toothpaste-like secretions were liquefied and the opening of their glands were dilated. We now express these glands after treatment, which we found added to improvement in patient symptoms. The mechanism of action for the warm compress effect is that the absorption of light that causes vessel coagulation produces heat in the dermis where the glands reside. When we do a warm compress, we're trying to get heat to the dermis from the epidermis. The IPL produces the heat right at the glands without causing heat that can cause problems at the epidermis like redness, burning, and scarring. Most patients will come back every six months for treatment, which keeps the vessels from coming back as before and keep the secretions fluid. Research on IPL continues, and we are only scratching the surface on why the treatment is so effective. But after treating thousands of patients successfully, it is obvious to me and other doctors that have adopted the technology and technique that the treatment is here to stay until a better treatment is discovered.